Hi guys and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Sorry about the audio or the acoustics aren't great in here. We're doing something a little different today. This isn't automotive. This is plumbing. Today we're going to be taking care of a leaky faucet. That valve, the Moen, M-O-E-N, is leaking. This isn't the first time I've been in this, but uh, we're going to show you how to replace the guts in this valve so that we can make that drip stout. And the tools that we're going to be needing is a reversible interchangeable screwdriver, Phillips regular tip, and a pair of needle nose pliers. The very first thing we're going to do is take this little cap off the middle here, set that down, and using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to take the screw out of the middle. screws right here we're going to remove both of those okay both of the screws out now we're going to remove this cover slide that straight back and then we're going to pull this little sleeve right here off And now using the regular tip, we're going to shut off the control valves. Oh, that will start to spray, so we're going to set that right there. And we've got one more in here, pretty cold. I'm turn that one all the way back also. gently and the next thing we're going to do is remove this little clip right here that tiny little clip grab that with the needle nose pliers and we're going to lift All right up and out of there just like so now we're going to take that handle that we've taken off and we're going to screw the handle back on. I'm just going to run the screw back in a couple of turns just to hold it. Now, we have a hold of the whole handle. And there should be a block of wood right here to keep this valve from moving. So we don't want to break any of the solder joints in here. We're going to, and we're going to pull straight out on it. Rock it back and forth. And it's going to fight all the way out, most likely. And we get the whole assembly out in one piece. The last parts of it. Go back and forth. And I make special pullers to get these out. But what we're going to do is we're going to break some rules and we're going to just twist the whole assembly we're going to be replacing this thing anyways and then we get the whole valve out now there's two rubber pieces that go here and here they're still inside the valve we're going to have to push those out you can see the pieces that are in there we've got to go dig those pieces out and we can put the new valve in got these little pieces out. This is one of them. And there's the other one right there. Oops. These right here, these are what caused all the leaks as these things get worn out. Now with 
water. I'm going to be putting the new, new valve right in there. Now we've got the brand new Mullen 1225B valve assembly. And we've got some grease to lubricate the fitting. Now let's get this valve opened up. There's our valve. There's our instructions. And there's already goo on this valve. I can feel it. It's got it all over my hands. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this piece the way it is, and we're going to insert this in here, but we're going to put some of this this grease here on it first. We make sure that we got it on all of the O-rings and all of the seals. Don't need a whole lot, just enough to get a light coating on stuff. The last thing you want to do is have globs of this stuff coming out while you're trying to shampoo your hair. Same thing with here. Grab that one. A little on the inside here. Because this valve comes, comes out through the middle. And be very particularly careful with this part here in the middle. If you bend this, it's brass, it will break. So you make sure you got everything nice light coating. Do is we're gonna slide this in. And when we do so, we're gonna try to make sure that this little hole right here in the top is facing up because that's gonna be our control point. And we're just gonna slide this right in. And we're gonna make sure these two little ears are up and down so that our clip will slide down over the top. Slide that all the way in. The threaded part in the middle can come back out some. Seal up our piece. Now we're going to use our flat blade screwdriver. We're going to push that bottom ear in just enough. Bottom out the assembly. And then we're going to take that tiny little clip again and slide that right down through the top. And if everything's lined up, that'll go all the way down. You might have to tinker with the valve a little bit. We're off by just a hair. Should go right down in there now. Nope. Flashlight, where'd I put you? Yeah, we're still off by just a hair. Once that's all the way down in, the valve is locked. Check. Now we're going to double check for smooth operation. We're going to take the uh, screw out of here and put the knob on the new one. And we're going to make sure that the operation feels correct. Screw all the way down in just to be safe. Make sure we get the right feel for it. Okay, nice and easy back and forth. No snags or catches. In and out, nice and easy. I think that'll be a good fix. We're gonna take the 
nozzle or the handle back off and reassemble everything. And this is how your valve assembly should look when you're all done here. Now make sure that this little piece right here is in place. That little part right there. Now we've got our valve assembly back in. Go ahead and take the sleeve, slide the sleeve all the way back out, which incidentally also locks that little horseshoe-shaped clip down in place that holds the valve. So we're going to take our plate, put our plate on, it only lines up one way. And we're going to put our screws in, finding the little holes in there can be kind of tricky sometimes. I'll try to be patient with it. In, go ahead and snug both of them down. Go ahead and make them snug. You don't have to crank them down really tight, but do make them snug. Distort the plate. Go ahead and put the valve back on. Turn that screw all the way down in. And tight because you don't want that loosening up. Now, before we put the little cover back on, this one here, let's just make sure that cold is on this side and hot is on that side. Water. Cold, cold, hot, hot. Shuts back off nice and easy. Cover back on. And verify that we don't have any more drips. Down at the bottom of the package, a little fitting that's made for rotating the valve that I didn't even realize it was in there. This piece slides on, and then you can rotate the valve to line it up to put the little horseshoe clip back in. Double check your contents before you throw stuff out. And there you have it. Shower valve replacement, nice and easy. Basic, simple tools. Only needed a pair of needle nose pliers and a Phillips screwdriver, regular screwdriver, and of course a flashlight to be able to see, some grease to lube it in, and the Mullen original parts. Don't use aftermarket, they're really just not worth it. So if you guys like that one, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for upcoming videos, and don't forget, you got no more excuses, pick up those wrenches. Water's not completely off. Let's see if we can get that taken care of. Probably gonna spray all over the place. Yep. Why, I don't know. Because it's stripped. Alright, well that's always a good reason. This is gonna make for more fun. 
have to go down into the basement and find the hot water and shut that off. I need some paper towels to wipe the grease off my hands. It's not paper towels, but it'll still work. something I don't know why that's not turning on I put the main assembly in upside down oh no let's pull it back out and find out start coming out of this. Nothing fell out of place. Cold water is on. Turn the water back on and see what happens. 